Welcome to today's devotion. Uh, well, today's, uh, this week's devotion is on spiritual blessings. And uh, our first episode is on holy and blameless. In Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 to 6, the Bible says, Blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Even as he chose us into him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. He predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of his will to the praise of his glorious grace with which he has blessed us in the beloved when we look at this uh, scripture it's telling us that you know what one of the things that takes place in our lives is we are blessed because God is our father and he's the father of our Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done to us he has given us he has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in christ jesus and therefore at this moment one of the things that is required of us or what he does to us he makes us holy makes us blameless and we're talking about holiness talking about wholeness completeness and um we are actually complete in him and uh, one of the other things that he does to us he adapts us and when you talk about adoption we're talking about someone making a choice of adding someone in their family who is not a member of the family a child who does not belong belong to the family a child that does not have the same blood but you go ahead and adapt that child one of the things we have done at Amazing Grace International Ministries, we take care of orphans, we take them from, that is, children who do not have parents and they become our own. Since we started 20 years ago, we have already taken care of over 200 children. And as in that adoption, they are our children. They call us dad and mom. And it's such a blessing to see that Whatever we've done to our children is the same thing we've done to them. We've provided for them, given them shelter, given them them food, given them clothes, taken them to good schools. They actually go to better schools than where our children went to school. And that is what the power of adoption. And why does God choose to do this? He chooses us to be adapted into his family for his purpose. The purpose is that he just wants us to be his own, his children, to love us, to take care of us. And he has provided a way and a means of us joining his family by giving us his son, Jesus Christ, who has died on the cross to become um, our brother and and we become his brother and sister. And uh, he himself giving his life so that we can become adapted into the family. We continue to share more on these blessings, the spiritual blessings in the heavenly place that are really glorious. This perfection, I mean, God, I mean, we cannot be perfect by our own. There is no way we can do it. We try to do good, but we can't make it. But through Christ, we are able to become holy, counted righteous. And we are talking about God, once he has chosen you, called you to become his child, you don't change, you don't become anything else. There is no way he's going to get you out of his way or even give up on you. It doesn't matter what direction you follow, but God will always make sure you come back to the fold, just like the prodigal son who decided to take the wealth of the family. And when he was out of everything, when he remembered his father, He came back and the Father received him back. The same thing, that is what God our Father does. It doesn't matter how many times we wander away from his presence and from his love, but he'll always have us back 
into his family. May the Lord bless you as you continue to purpose, even to become a partaker of these blessings that the Lord has given us free of charge. You're not paying for them. What he wants you to do is to invite others to join you in the journey as we become adopted children of God, our Father. May the Lord bless you as you purpose to honor him with your life and even purpose to be one of his own. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will never abandon you because he is love and he cares for you. Those are the heavenly spiritual blessings that the Lord has for us. We are going to share more in this week. Uh, please share with your friends. You can log into our website at www.agrism.org. You can partner with the ministry and become part of what God is doing in our lives. You can also follow us on YouTube and Facebook. You can subscribe and even uh, comment, like, and let's know what God is saying about the spiritual blessings. And that is at Bishop Dr. Grace Karaoke. And you'll be able to see what God is doing and even listen to other messages. There are many messages one episode after the other and the lord is going to bless you for now may the lord continue taking care of you and even become a partaker of god's blessings for now be blessed shalom shalom